this is Pretty from It's a Pretty World. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm using this beautiful stamp set from the Grey Muse called the Happiness Bloom. It's a large floral cluster that I plan to use. I've already gone ahead and pre-cut a 5 by 7 hot pressed watercolor paper and embossed this rectangle die which is from Lawn Fawn onto this watercolor paper. Um, this is a beautiful watercolor paper. It, it, the reason I'm using hot press is because it has a smoother texture uh, or surface rather than a, a, a regular cold press paper. So I'm preparing my surface to stamp and uh, stamp and emboss and I'm going to emboss this large image using the gilded gold embossing powder and I really really love the gilded gold embossing powder look how beautiful it looks and in fact you don't even have to color this you could just leave it right here and add a sentiment in black and it look beautiful but I'm going to use the Winsor and Newton Newton uh, watercolor and I'm not using any new colors I'm just going to use the colors that I've already pre-cut mixed onto my palette and the reason I'm doing Doing that is I want this watercolor to be very muted um, very soft in tone and 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 that's the reason why I'm just using the the shades that are available on my palette and I'm not also um, the other thing is also I'm not doing a lot of um, what you call blending I'm going to keep the colors quite splotchy and that adds to the effect of the watercolor that I'm going for and you will see as I'm doing it also I'm avoiding that uh, rectangle which I embossed earlier I'm not trying I, I will I will not add any paint to any of the images that's on the rectangle I'm gonna leave you with some music and you can watch me watercolor and I'll be back after I'm done watercoloring this entire image
All right, welcome back. So now that I'm done all watercoloring the image, I'm just heat setting it for the next step. Uh, but I, oh, I just realized that the, the gray edge on the corner is quite sharp there. So I'm just taking my watercolor, uh, my, my water pen, my brush, and I'm just uh, blending it out so that it's nice and smoother and it's, uh, it, it doesn't have any harsh edges. And then when I'm done with all that, I'm taking this poster tape and I'm masking off that center where the, the, the embossing, where the, the, the rectangle is and then I just took some white gouache and I watered it down with some water and I'm just going to splatter that white gouache just in that area where the colored image is and also I took the gold and em uh, not gold embossing gold watercolor this is from Gansai Tambi in in gold paint and I did the same thing I just splattered it all around the image just around the image making sure that that no splatter lands beyond the image and then I took the masking off and I was ready to add some uh, and you can see how beautiful it sparkles and I'm gonna and now I'm ready to add a uh, sentiment and the sentiment is a wonderful sentiment it says I care I care a lot it's kind of my thing and it's just an awesome awesome sentiment in fact all the sentiment in the stamp set is just beautiful so I took a gray cardstock and I embossed the sentiment using white embossing powder and then I die cut the sentiment using a banner die from Simon Says stamp and it's a beautiful uh, stamp uh, not um, uh, what you call die set so after I heat set this particular stamp, and there you go, you can see the the banner that I just like it. And then it was time to place that onto my uh, my my card front, and I just added some foam adhesive to the back of the the banner die. And I also like to add some liquid adhesive to the back, so it helps me or it gives me a little bit of a wiggle room, so I know that I'm placing it exactly where I wanted it and and that's and that's a good trick to do is just add a little bit of um, adhesive plus a liquid adhesive make sure that it's it's not going to come out on you when you're sending it to your recipient and then I took a side folding five by seven cardstock in the same gray shade and I popped this entire card front onto this gray uh, note card um, you you will notice that I also had cut one eighth of an inch from all the sides of this cardstock just to give a little bit of a border a gray border around the the note card and there you go and once I was done with that it was time to add some sparkles not that there wasn't enough sparkle but I decided to add some beautiful iridescent sequins um like scattered all over this uh, this image and when I was done adding the the, the beautiful sparkles and I'm just t picking it up with my jewel picker and I'm just placing them and then I was all done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.